Did you guys know that you can make your browser to show the pages in dark mode? Well, some browsers they have by default dark settings, but those settings they change only the browser to dark or white, but not the pages. And today I'm gonna show you how to turn into dark mode the pages itself. It's very easy, so let's check it out. <laughs> So here I have uh, Microsoft Edge and on my second monitor I have uh, Firefox because this this trick works through, through an add-on um, which works in my Firefox uh, or Google Chrome. For the moment this uh, add-on it's not available for Microsoft Edge but I'm gonna show you here the settings that some browsers they try to tell you that oh look do we have dark mode and, and light mode, white mode which you can see here, choose theme, uh, light mode or dark mode. Um, some other browsers might have the same. Uh, if you go into dark mode, you can see uh, only the browser settings, only the browser uh, search bar changes to dark mode, but not the pages itself. So if whatever I change light or dark, it changes only the, the settings of the browser. But here let's open Firefox. Uh, I have this add-on as well installed on Google Chrome. The only thing that doesn't work is when you open a new tab and you have this, the default uh, new tab. If you're gonna change when you open a new tab, if you're gonna change to open Google, then it will work. But with this default, it doesn't work because the browser itself doesn't allow to modify this uh, default tab. If I go and uh, open Facebook, uh, Facebook is gonna be dark as well. You can see it's dark as well. Um, YouTube as well, because uh, there is YouTube better which it has a dark mode, dark theme, or is, there is some add-ons that, that change YouTube to dark theme. But with this add-on, you can uh, use one add-on to any other website that you want. If here, if you search something, search something, uh, the search is gonna be in dark as well. For some reason, you want to disable it, for some reason, like something is showing wrong, then you can come here at the top and turn it off. You can see here uh, only for Google, uh, if I change to YouTube, then it will change to only for YouTube. And if I open new tab, this new tab, then it doesn't allow me to, to change the new tab, which is what I've said, dark reader. It's an add-on which you can find it on the store. So if I disable it, then uh, I have to reload the pages and then they will come back to normal. On Google Chrome is the same, here the icon is a bit different, but uh, it's the same thing. The home start or a new tab, it's in white. And if you go open something, then it's gonna be in dark, which I think for when you're browsing during the night, it's perfect. You go into the store and you search for, search for dark reader. And like I've said, it works on Firefox and in Chrome. Add add-on, it requires your permissions, of course. And the best settings to use for this add-on, you can change the brightness, the contrast, the sepia. For example, if you go into more here, I like to use dynamic because dynamic, it's gonna be always, at least the add-on is gonna try to always show you correct images. It's very easy to use, that's the most important thing. and. Like I've said, if something goes wrong, uh, some page doesn't show correctly, you just come here at, at the top and turn it off. But I think for YouTube, for example, uh, watching videos during the night, it's very, very useful and I think it's a must. I think the, the browser makers, they should add this option by default in the settings. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think about this video.